What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. What up? What up? I always, always got to surprise you. Woo Assassins. This is episode yeah. two we're talking about, Mike. You missed yeah. Spent Youth. Yes, it uh, is. Moving along with this with this show, uh, if you missed our season one, I'm sorry, episode one uh, review. review, go and check that out. Yes, Jess. Uh, but yeah, dude, liking this show, a lot of stuff went down. You know, in this episode, which is interesting because when, when you're watching this and you're trying to take notes, you're like, oh, shit, wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah. You know, because uh, you yeah, you're watching it. You got to watch it a couple times because you got to watch yeah, it and then you got to go back and get this stuff. So lots of stuff happened in this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, what, what the, one of the main things was the flashback in the beginning. Now, he, here's a funny part about that. Yeah. I'm like, OK, so so if this is supposed to take place in 2019, that means that that flashback took back in 2004 and they all had flip phones. And I'm like, hold on. What phone did I have in 2004? And I had to go back and do the research. And yeah, dude, it was the, Mol the Motorola Razor. Yeah, uh, it was like, well, like the I old had, Nokia's. It was like the or Nokia's. Something. There was still yeah. not flip phones. And then like the flip phones with like the, the, the cool ones. And I'm like, yeah. damn, dude, like that was only 15 years ago. Like, yeah, it was, hey, shit, went freaking fast, man. I'll tell you that. But, uh, but yeah, so he obviously was trying to teach Kai the ways of the triad. And that scene is interesting because it's the same scene that uncle six does in the in the first episode when he so that must be the thing that that like chapter of the triad or whatever does they strip the people down and they tie them to a chair because it was the same exact thing mm. right and then they want yeah. he, he wants he wants kai to kill him uh so obviously uncle six isn't the leader of the triad at that time he's just still like a lieutenant or whatever the heck yeah and he wants you know and so he, you know they're trying to train kai to be one of them and he won't do it, so you know six does it or whatever. So, you know it's uh, yeah, building that backstory. It's a, I mean, it's a bit confusing, really, because there's two two points of of what six's agenda is and what he wishes and hopes Kai would become. Because in that scene, he doesn't want him to shoot the guy. He tells uh, he, he tells Kai, "You're not a killer." Right. But then he must know what kind of man and what kind of fighter he is, um, because obviously there's um, there's people going after him that are trying to kill him. And he's really curious of who this old man was, because um, obviously Kai was wearing the face, you know, the monk, the, the monk face. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of curious to me. Does he, he he knows he's a threat. So what what from 15 years ago to, to the present time happened to where um you know well kai's well here's that, the thing that six knows what kind of a threat he is well no here's the he thing he totally lied to these to hit to kai in yeah but the thing about. the thing with that is is that he's he just oh he just he says it to him he's like oh you're my son and i saved you and he's like i brought you here and he's like no my dad brought me here and he's like i'm your father or whatever and he's like no no you're not you know what i mean he's like well i raised you i trained you because of course i am and Kai's like, no, I think he just really wants Kai to be with him. And he keeps trying to get him to be with him. And since he's not, he's ready, he's okay. Well, to if he's going to, the thing is, Kai tries to stay out of all of that. But then, mm -hmm. like, he does the thing at the restaurant. And then those guys didn't know that he was attached to Uncle Six. And I don't think that's true. I think they know exactly who he was. Then why did he kill them, though, if he didn't send them? You know what I mean? Why did six? They not made do a that? mistake. Yeah, like they, I thought they made that mistake. Anyway. Well, they, he made you. He makes you think that he didn't know that these guys were going after him. I took it as six knew exactly that these guys were going after to try to kill him. Okay. I could be wrong. I don't know if you took it a different way. I took, I took it that, that they were I just... I took that totally like he's playing both sides. Like he's Maybe. saying, all right, go kill this guy. They knew what apartment it is. They knew who he was, obviously. You know what? Maybe maybe that is true. Maybe it is. All I know is that that, that, chopping, that chopping scene when he was chopping up the vegetables in his apartment <laughs> yeah. and, he, and he, he took the knife and then he chucked it and he caught the magnetic strip. That was Yeah, that was, that was bad. I like that. Yeah. I want to talk about Jenny. Ah. Uh, the, at the, in the first Another episode. Yeah, yeah. The, we see her enter the fight a fighting an underground fighting thing similar to Colleen mm -hmm. uh, Colleen does in in uh um uh Danny Rand oh my god I can't the Iron Fist thank you thank you brain Iron Fist yeah no you didn't watch Iron Fist but no 
Colleen Wing. Yeah, she was, yeah, it's fantastic. Same type of thing. But so Jenny's doing this because she's trying to make ends meet. And the, the restaurant's not doing great. Her brother, Tommy, who we, which we didn't really mention, we didn't know. We knew something was up in the first episode with Tommy. Mm-hmm. We didn't talk too much about Tommy and Jenny, but I like these two characters. I enjoy that they share something. Their parents seem fine. Her, right the parents seem like they're perfectly fine they're not like orphans they're not they don't come from a broken home the parents seem fine it's just like they're out there trying to make it on their own tommy's an addict and uh yeah. which you kind of figure you know you kind of knew but i like their dynamic i like that she's always trying to save him and in this case she really mm. does save him and we get yeah. a really dope little fight scene where she you know she beats the snot out of those guys that was awesome yeah uh, i enjoyed that it's setting up again this is more we're, we're still getting the ground rules here we're still yeah, kind of set setting absolutely. everything up um but a lot dude a lot of stuff happens in this one yeah no i mean listen like you said about i agree with you on the jenny tommy dynamic she definitely is looking to take care of her brother um but um also with the trying to make ends meet and not wanting to feel Obviously, Six is the one that helped renovate the restaurant. Um, it does uh, seem right. like it's, yeah, you know, she gives him the money. So back, that's a yeah. big reason why she's fighting. Remember, she takes. Oh, that's right. She's paying her, that back out right, of her yeah. drawers, and she visits him and says, I, "Pretty much, I don't want to. I don't want to have you hold anything against me." Right. Um, he said, "No, oh, we're friends." I no, no, no. She's not playing this game. So he expects her to, to finish paying um the the entire payment um which is you know she's a badass chick she saves her brother from this heroin den thing here Mm -hmm. and then we also our buddy lewis um lou in the show he's uh he has some kind of in cahoots with these russians and they want to do this big this big uh uh what would you call big theft of five he wants to get yeah they they, they, something like that task him with getting more more vehicles right in a in, in a much shorter time, so it looks like Lewis might be into it might be. Uh, let's talk about trouble. Let's talk about his character for a minute. <clears throat> yeah. Let's talk about he he he's a little he's a bit of a playboy. A bit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I really enjoyed the scene, and now I, you know these are gonna start blending together, guys. But yeah. the scene when uh C C G takes his car, she sits she sits with him at the diner in and the stuff. restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and I like that. I like things like that. I like yeah. I like this character. It's fun to see Lewis playing something like this, which is not. And I'm gonna bring it up. Not too far off from Gaius though, because Gaius was. He has you that know, swag, you know. He has that he, swag. He, guys had a, a bit of swag, but he wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't a total douche about it. But Lou yeah. happens to be. He's he's a bit of a douche, but I still like the character. He's fun. He's, I like it. It was it was funny when he's sitting at the table and he asked the waitress. I think I forgot exactly how the how it came up exactly from uh, from CJ a uh, CG, but she was like uh, something about problems with women, and he tells the waitress he's like, hey, you know, do I have a problem with women? And she's like, no. <laughs> yeah. So it's just it's just funny how uh yeah, he, he definitely is um he's definitely a a player, you know. Yeah. So we you know, so so yeah, so we get to see what what kind of person he's in. and yes, he is, mm. you know, he is. We know that he was already he's playing this double sides and working for the Russians and they they mm. think he's a fool and everything and you know, they're like this guy's a joke why are we working with this guy and so that so there's some there's going to be some drama going there. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Young was fun. I, I, again, I, I like that. I like this character. It's fun to see this actor, um, uh, not play like, uh, cause he's always playing like the head of something or, you know, uh, some, some real, uh, political type of guy and like, you know, in, in a lot of the stuff that I've seen him in. So it's fun to just see the, see him in something like this where he's just, uh, he's the, the neighbor, he's the shopkeep. He's, yeah. He, you know, he helps out Kai and stuff like that. It's fun. I, I like that, you know. And so, he's he's a little bit of a, a, a moral compass for 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 Kai, I think. Um, and then, and, you know, the stuff with again, CG's working in the in the in the warehouse with, you know, for Lou, and they end up going to get this thing. One thing that annoyed me about mm. that whole scene in the junkyard. Okay, yeah. I'll get to it in a second. First of all, the fight. Great fight. I enjoyed it. Again, we're getting to see these characters. We we see CG fight. We see her talk to her her boss when she's running in the park. Like we get to see these different sides of her. We're, it's so it's it's mm-hmm. it's it's sort of that 
It's always the homeless guy in the park. You know, right? well, yeah, because no one's going to pay attention to the homeless guy. <laughs> it's 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 the perfect disguise if you want to be an undercover DT or something. Dude. You know. Yeah. Anyway, so that was a really fun fight scene. I like that. She's she's a bruiser too, mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. you know, Kai jumps in. But here's something that bothered me: was yeah. that he didn't the the um, Aryan Bill or whatever his name is didn't let them take the thing, and he paid him. I guess that was... He already uh, handed him yeah. the cash and he told him to yeah. get out and he didn't let him take the freaking thing. And I was like, are you kidding me? Window. Yeah. But they didn't want to, <laughs> you know, didn't want to any, any cause any more waves. But I'm like, dude, I'm like, Kai, take the damn windshield. You need that for your truck. So I don't know. Yeah. So I was a little, a little annoyed at that, you know. But dude, I like these fight scenes. I like these quick little fight scenes. Yeah, there was a lot of wrenches. She was like hitting people with, they were hitting with wrenches, oh, right, in the thing. Dude, and, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I mean, listen, the fights haven't disappointed. There were, I mean, listen, within the first t- two episodes, even this episode, some of the CGI stuff is a little, you know, um, uh, not the best, I'll say. Um, listen, it's quick and dirty. The one thing but, about this yeah. show is that they get right to the point. I like. That really was the only knock, really, for me, is there was just a couple CGI things. So, that I thought- so let's talk about that. So, so. Ying Ying takes him back, which is very interesting. I like how mm-hmm. he can go in and out. I love how he can just go in and out. So he's talking to Lou, and all of a sudden, boom, yeah. he goes, he's in. And it happened in the in the first episode as well when the guy's firing the guns and he just pops into the yeah. into the world. And we didn't talk much about that in see in for the first episode. But yeah, so he can just pop in and out of this thing. Ying Ying is trying to train him. She's like, Oh, you know, like a second in the real world is like uh, yeah, it can be ten years here. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. So she she tasks That's him cool. with find with you know okay get through the get this rock over here and he's trying all this stuff and you know obviously it turns out that he can punch it and it's it's a simple concept but it's like he's a killer he's an assassin this is what he's supposed to do mm-hmm. so any any finesse to the power excuse me to the character I feel like they're they've just made it so there isn't much finesse it's you have a job to do. Get it done, yeah. and she keeps saying, "You're gonna kill. You have to. Kill. You have no choice. Well, he You're puts the chosen his, one." He puts his hands to her throat and says, "See, you know, yeah, because you know he sees, you know, he sees glimpses of what could ha- be the potential future. You know, he sees Jenny getting her well, neck sliced. He well, sees right. So I want to talk about that though. Let's bloodied talk- up against the truck. Let's talk about know, the that food truck. Let's go in there. Let's talk about that. Yeah. First of all, before we jump, I want to say that I really like this. I really like the vibe of the training dimension. It's very anime comic mm-hmm. book like. Yeah. I really like that vibe. Um, yeah. So, what was your what was your take on that? Because I so he makes it past. He gets to go into the past, and and apparently it's like okay, you're gonna have these visions. He sees all these things happening. He sees the potential fight with Uncle Six. To me, it's a potential. Well, she says that. These are things, right? She said yeah. that. These she, are. This is a, a possible future, right? Unless he step again. To me, it's, it's a, like unless he yeah. steps in. Yeah. Now wait, wait. Do you think it? Do you think it means if he doesn't step up? I just think he needs to make his choices wisely. He needs to really choose okay. wisely of what he does and and what battles he wants to maybe begin, what battles he shouldn't start. Right. Okay. Um. I mean, seeing Lewis bloodied up and beaten up, it obviously seems to me like that could be something with the Russians, with the car theft stuff. Um, Jenny could just be um, Uncle Six. You know, from Six. Uncle Six, yeah. Sage, yeah. You know? Uh, and obviously we know that there's some kind of chemistry there between Jenny and Kai, mm-hmm. that there must have been some kind of well, they uh, knew each other, so, so possible relationship or you know he cares for her. Well, he cares for her and and he but she also she also brothers him like she does Tommy. And we didn't mention in the beginning when they were all getting tattoos. And yeah. I don't know, I'm not sure what the significance of that t- tattoo is. If I miss something, guys, you can let me know. I'm not exactly sure what that. Tattoo supposed to be. I don't know if mean, it was anything. But, yeah, I don't they know all if got it was, one. They were all getting yeah. one. Remember, so yeah. they were all getting the same tattoo. But obviously, they all go back. They all go back a ways, and you know, so that's why you know the, there's this tight knit group of 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 people, yeah. which is which is fun. So um, yeah. I'm just looking at my notes, seeing if there's anything else that um, uh, was there anything else that you wanted to touch yeah, on. Yeah, actually, there's one thing um, that that we didn't say just yet. When when Kai and um, when Kai and CG were leaving the junkyard, <clears throat> she, um, you know, she, I don't remember if she, she knew the one guy. Remember she gave that, 
She, she gave, did. Well, well, she as from, a cop knew the yeah, guy, and she had and, to make up a story. And, uh, yeah, Kai kind of picks that up. Right. So for me, um, you know, Kai obviously might be one of those first people to find out her real uh, and true identity. Right, true. So I don't know, man. Um, this was a good again. Lots of stuff happened in this episode, so it's you know for, to break it down to talk about it. You gotta you know you definitely gotta take notes on it. But again, I enjoyed it. I I really do. I like how how it just gets to it. The show. It just it just all right. Let's do it. Let's go. This is what we're doing. Yes. I know, especially with the training. Uh, I really thought that it was going to be a long while before he was going to move that rock. You know, and yeah. then it's because she initially says, Ying Ying says, um, uh, move, you know, move this rock to this position and your training is over. So like, your training is over. Oh, this is something that's going to be going on, uh, you know, five, six episodes, whatever this is. But, I, you know, he, he obviously learned, re- you know, rather quick how to get that. Is it right? Is it is it too quick? Is it, you know, I mean, obviously. Oh, that, no, you know. I don't think it's. I mean, listen, these these kind of these kind of shows are always it's, it's always like that. It's action packed. This is why I say it's like a comic book, because yeah. because, you know, I read a lot of comics and it's like in one page, one or two pages, you got a yeah. whole thing done. It's done. You yeah. do it, it's done because it's yeah. done because yeah, you don't need. But I think we're getting, especially you and I, especially for th- what we what we do and what we watch for this channel that we're creating here that we made that we're, we're so used to watching things that just take very long to get things out. Like yeah. The Walking Dead is like you know well, suspect your, one. It just like drags technique. stuff out. Badlands was similar to Woo in fa- in the in the way that it just mm-hmm. just get it done, yeah. get it, get it. You only yeah. need one sentence. You only need one one scene. You only need one action. Yeah, you don't just, need two episodes to get, get it from done. Here to there he's doing something. training. He did training. He's done. You know, like mm-hmm. if that if that's the case, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Let's move forward. He's got a, you yep. know, my only criticism, my one criticism about the about the show is his character, and and oh man, all right, let me try and say this succinctly. I don't want. I don't know if I necessarily want this, but I have noticed. I feel like he's he's very. Who's this, Kai? He, he, you're talking Kai. He he did. He, there was some pushback in episode one, and then in, in episode two, there isn't that much pushback. I don't know how I feel about him automatically being like, yeah, okay, that's fine. I'll be a fucking assassin. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think maybe I would, but then again, do but but go, well, he I don't sees, want to contradict. I think he trusts. He trusts really what she's showing him, and maybe. But that's my thing. Like I don't. Again, part of me is like. Yeah, but you should have like more development. You should have him. He should be reluctant for at least one more episode, and then, but like, and like we just said, which I'm contradicting us is or well, myself is like, nah, I like how it just goes in, but it's still that residual like, yeah, but shouldn't he push back more? Like that's a little too easy, you know. Well, it's maybe once he sees Jenny get her neck sliced. Well, you're right. You're right. You absolutely. You know what? You're absolutely right. Then he sees that. Oh shit! This if this is a thing, like then now I have that's to. Be, like, yeah, that you're right. Shit, yeah, that shit's not happening. I got. You're right. So and, then that, and he says it. I think he says it right after. I'm the Wu assassin. Yeah. So now yeah. to wrap because this up, guess that's what? what? He says that's what he says to. Um, what's his name, Mister Young? Yeah. He says that to him. You know, who are you? I'm the Wu assassin. Yeah. And then, then remember, Six visits him in the hospital. And he says, "Like who? Who was the oh, man? What that, a you know, dick! The, that's right. The Wu was. That's what I'm saying, and that's what I'm saying, right? He's and so that's where I wanted to end this. Is that now the Wu? No, now six knows. Now six knows that, that there's a that, Wu assassin, and yeah. I and then he's like, oh, okay, all right, we're gonna we're gonna play this out. No, it's yeah. interesting is gonna be when we meet the other the other four, you know, mm-hmm. uh, le- uh, members of the Wu. So, yeah, uh, good stuff, man. I'm liking yes, it. I'm liking it. I'm glad we get to talk it out." You know, yep, you I'm liking it too. Things. I'm liking it too. I hope you guys at home are uh, are enjoying it. Also, I'm sure you do. That's why you're watching a review show about it. Yep. Um, so check us out at Third Person Pod on all the social media outlets. We always like to post when we're posting videos live to YouTube and everything. So if you see us uh, on Instagram, most likely it's because we're posting something and there's some some new content up. Again, thank you guys so much for the support of Third Person. The channel, Chris and I appreciate this so much. We love now reviewing again another martial arts show. We're going to try not to compare Badlands. If you don't know, we're super Badland fans and loyalists to them. But, um, you know, we apologize if you think we're comparing the shows too much. We're going to try not to do that, I don't think. Unless there's something maybe but that's it's just, it's, real, it's, but it's yeah. it's it's good. It's a good base. It's a good baseline sometimes. Yeah. So. so anyway, we're we're big into these kind of 
shows and series. So we're glad to be doing this again, uh, something similar again. Uh, new Netflix series, Wu Assassins. Check it out. We appreciate it. Everyone watching. I think that's about it, right? That's it. <laughs> Peace out. See you next time. Bye.